want to believe me. Don't you? I, I can see it in your eyes. Dear heart, let yourself believe. Yes, go ahead, Renee. Go ahead and believe. Just make his damn day and tell Carlo that you believe it's really him. Now she was just about to before you burst in. Yes, well, I also think she should tell you how much she hated you and how she the last thing that she would want is for you to come back to this world. No, stop it. Stop it. This is crazy. It's a sick joke. No, 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 no please. Say, stop it. Damn you, Alex. You got a bruise? Then just put it where the nurse won't show. Ah, oh, shut up, you fool. You're the one that's a fool, Mortimer. Even if Renee believes that you are Carla, that isn't going to do you a damn bit of good because she hated Carla. No, no, you're just lying. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm not going to believe you, Alex. No, don't push me, Alex. Don't, 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 don't do it. No, no, no. You know why? You know, you know. Because what I feel for Renee is true. Now, I'm, I'm warning you, Alex. I'm, I'm duly warning you. I'm warning you. Now, you either forget about that woman and you pledge yourself to me, or I will convince her that Carlo Hesser is as dead as General Custer and that you are absolutely nothing but a crackpot mommy's boy from Oklahoma. I, I just don't get it, Cassie. Is this some kind of test that you have devised for me and if I pass, I go to the head of the church with you? That's your interpretation, not mine. How many times have I choked on my anger at your schemes and manipulations? And why? Because I love you. That's right. You're my mother, and I love you. And I love you, Kathy. Please believe me. Then show me. Just for once, put aside your anger and your feelings of betrayal and do something for me. Just because you love me. For me! Is that so much to ask? It is a lot. But I suppose it's not too much. <laughs> Cassie, the last thing I ever want to do is to hurt you. And for your wedding to be less than perfect. That would be a terrible hurt for both of us. <laughs> oh, Mother. Oh, darling, it's just that... Could you tell me just one thing? What's that? Tell me that you haven't chosen Blair over me. <laughs> oh, Mother. You're a piece of work. I haven't chosen anyone over you. You're my mother. Go. Oh. Oh, baby. Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. In the snow? I love the snow. That's not what this is about. About loving snow. This is about... This is about you getting angry at me for something all of a sudden. I don't know why. Is it because I haven't been thinking about a real wedding? Is that it? I mean, but we didn't even talk about a real wedding. And why should we? Luna, we got all the time in the world. Why rush? Exactly. Why rush? Now, that's exactly how I feel about us waiting to make love until Valentine's Day. And I told you how I felt about it. All my life, I've gone by my instincts. And now, for the most important event in my life, when we come together as man and woman, I'm going to listen to it even more carefully than I ever have. Wait, how? Oh, whoa, wait. Do you think I want you to compromise yourself? That is the last thing in the world I want. Luna, I, I love you. For your faith, for your commitment, for your sense of self. Something tells me that's not what this is about. Please tell me. What is wrong? What are you so afraid of? If you dare to come between Renee and me, <laughs> I will turn on you like Frankenstein's monster. I did this for you, lady. 
You got everything we agreed on. As long as Moose Mulligan believes I'm Carlo Hesse, you're alive and kicking and very, very rich. Let me tell you something. People may believe that you are Carlo Hesser. You may be starting to believe that you are Carlo Hesser. But I knew the man. And you are no Carlo Hesser. No. I warn you. And you listen to me carefully. If you dare tell Renee I'm not Carlo Hesser, now, I will make sure that Mulligan knows that this was all a hoax. You wouldn't dare. Mm -hmm. No. Try me. Go ahead, try me. As long as Mulligan believes I'm Carlo Hesse, your backside is safe. So you better be prepared to have me be Carlo in front of her name. That's unfair. That's ruthless. I just learned from a master. How things go with Dorian? She came back to the fold, so to speak. Uh -huh. She agreed to come to the wedding. Great. She came through for you. Good for her. Good for her. I'm so proud of her. I really didn't have any hope. Cassie, you've got to realize how hard it was for your mother to do that. The way she feels about Blair, that is a bitter pill for her to swallow. She's doing it for you. You know why, don't you? Don't you? Do you know? Because she loves me. That's right. Just as I do. Oh, I'm telling you, this is going to be a perfect wedding. Oh, Andrew, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> right. Where are you going? Anywhere but here, thanks to the judge. Don't leave on my account. I'll tell you something, I would climb Mount Everest on my hands and knees to get away from the likes of you. Oh, I guess I should be really wounded by that remark, but uh, I'm getting such a kick out of seeing the great Ace of Buchanan chased out of his own mansion by little old me. <laughs> Why after you choke? Just remember, you are on borrowed time. When we're through in that courtroom, you'll be swept out like trash. And nothing goes with you. No house. No jury business. Yeah. Nothing! Oh. Are you all right? Oh, did you see what he just did? He tried to strangle me. Remember that, Sonny. Remember it all. Because one day, and one day soon, I am going to need you on the witness stand. Well, what are you so afraid of? You faced death. What could possibly scare you after that? Max, Luna, I, I gotta talk T to you Tina, guys. Tina, this is not a great time. Well, okay, it's all right. Come on in. I was over at Ace's and I found a legal document from his lawyer. What kind of legal document? It was a list of all the people being subpoenaed for the divorce hearing. And you're on it, Max. And you are too, Luna. 